This is about a physicist who is seeking answers about... What is he seeking answers about? Oh. Hey, this is Megan in the Restricted section. Um, today, I'm going to be doing my Gobblethon slash November wrap-up and then just like a mini book haul also. So, let's get started. Um, the first book that I read in November was the first book of the Xenogenesis series by Octavia Butler, um, and that was called Dawn, and I loved that book. I thought it was magnificent. I think Sue and I did a review of that one, uh, which I will link below if you're interested in checking that out. Um, I loved it. I am really enjoying Octavia Butler. I've read a couple, I think two of her books, and I just want to read a hell of a lot more from her. And then... I had kind of a rough reading month. The next book that I read wasn't until um, Gobblethon had started, and that was um, Bowie by Wendy Lay. This was for a read a nonfiction book, uh, Challenge of Gobblethon, and then I also needed to read a biography for my Read Harder Challenge, so this covered both of those. Um, this was not my favorite biography that I've read, and I certainly would have liked to have known I would have liked to have read a better biography about David Bowie. This one focused mostly just on his sexual exploits, um, which I mentioned this in my Gobblethon update video, um, but I think there's a lot more to David Bowie than that. I'm sure that's a big part of him, but I would like to have read more about him as a, a whole person rather than just his sexual prowess. Alright, so then the next book that I read was Herland by Charlotte Perkins Gilman. This was for Gobblethon for Read a Book with Brown on the cover. Um, I loved I loved this. This is like a fem feminist utopian novel. Um, it was written many moons ago. Uh, let's see. So this was written in 1915. Um, this copy that I have was published in like the seven, late 70s. Um, this was just a cool a cool feminist utopian novel. These three dudes um, uncover a civilization of only women and they're just like completely flabbergasted that this, because it's a fairly advanced civilization um, and they're pretty flabbergasted that it can even exist without having men in it. Um, and then they're just constantly amazed throughout the book that like, hey, women can do stuff. And that's pretty much, like, throughout the whole book, they're just kind of amazed that this group of women can can do all the things that they're doing and that they're a pretty successful society. Um, and they're a society that's kind of sheltered from the nonsense of, um, like, the city life that these men are used to. And so they're kind of astounded at, like, the lack of war and um, disease and all that fun stuff. And so I don't think that all of that is just because... I don't think that the book is saying, like, because it's only women, they've eradicated all this nonsense. I don't think that's necessarily all of what it is. Or this society has also kind of participated in... It's kind of like a selective breeding thing, so it's kind of like a eugenics thing, where the women who have the desirable characteristics are permitted to become mothers and have children. Um, they've genetically developed to where they don't have to um, have a man to do that. And then the women with you know, the undesirable characteristics are not allowed to do that. So it kind of, it challenges, like, masculinity and femininity, and are certain characteristics really characteristically feminine? Are they really characteristically masculine? Um, so it was interesting. I really enjoyed it. It was really funny. Like, some parts of it were just really amusing. Um, so yeah, and it was kind of like a adventure novel. Like they're exploring and they come across the civilization and live among them and it was kind of cool. I liked it. Next book I read um, was for the Just Read a Book Challenge of Gobblethon. And I read this, um, it's called Luna by Julian Peters. And for my Read Harder Challenge, I had to read a book that was by or about someone who's transgendered. And so I talked about this book a little bit in my Gobblethon update, I think. But this is a book about um, a person who was born biologically male, um, but identifies as being female and would like to make the transition from male to female. 
Um, so in the book, it is the story of Liam. He was born Liam. This person dresses as Luna at night, and um, Luna's sister knows about um, Luna being transgender, but Luna's parents don't know. And so this is a story about her discovering other transgendered people, reaching out to them, and kind of starting her journey transitioning. Uh, it was a really interesting story, and I thought it was um, it was pretty cool. There are some info dumps in here, but I think that a lot of that is the character herself is learning this stuff. So like it's you're learning it with her as she's learning. Um, so there's that, and then I mean, the sister in the book is a teenager, and she's just, I mean, annoying in all the ways that teenagers are annoying, um, but also she's really, like, a strong, a strong source of support, um, for the most part for Luna, as she's kind of navigating, telling people, not telling people, how do I transition, what do I do, um, so yeah, it was really, it was an interesting read, I enjoyed it. The last book that I read in November, was meant to be for um, Gobblethon, but and I started it during Gobblethon, but I didn't finish it until afterward. And that is The Weather of the Heart by Madeline Lingle. Sue also read this, um, and this was for the challenge to read a book of poems. And um, I was also I also counted this toward my uh, read harder challenge to read a book under 100 pages. This is like 96. Um, I was not a fan of this at all. A lot of the poems in here are about God, which is not, uh, and religion, which is not anything that I'm interested in. Um, and then also I just, in my, in my humble opinion, I didn't really think that they were very good poems. So I am not a poet, nor am I a literature scholar, so take my opinion with a grain of salt, but I did not care for them at all. Alright, so those are the books I read in November slash for Gobblethon. So it wasn't a super heavy reading month for me. I ended up being a lot busier in November than I had anticipated being. Um, so that's what I've read. And then I have just a small little book haul. I took a lot of my... Um, I unhauled a lot of books. I took some that I didn't like or that I didn't want anymore uh, to use bookstore and traded those in. So I got some stuff. Alright, have my my goodie bag here. Alright, so I got um, And Chaos Died by Joanna Russ. I've been looking for The Female Man by Joanna Russ um, because I it was mentioned in um, The Geek Feminist Revolution and I thought it would be, I wanted to read it and I wanted to read more by this author. Um, I found a couple of books by Joanna Russ but I haven't been able to find The Female Man yet. I could just order it online if I were so inclined, but I like kind of searching used bookstores, and then I end up with stuff like this. So, it says his name was Jai Ved. He was an Earthman, but his ship had blown up on a star voyage, and now he was a castaway on an uncharted Earth-like planet. There were people here, humans apparently an Earth colony that had lost contact with the homeworld centuries before. They had developed telepathy, telekinesis, teleportation, and the damnedest social system you could imagine had grown out of those abilities. Jai Ved gradually came to understand what they were, but it took him much longer to realize what they were doing to him. And Chaos Died is a novel about psi powers seen from the inside. It will amaze you, it will challenge you, and you will never forget it. So, I'm sure this will be interesting. This cost me like two bucks, so we'll find out. Alright. I also got um, The Dispossessed by Ursula Le Guin. I've been looking for The Left Hand of Darkness by Ursula Le Guin because that was mentioned in The Geek Feminist Revolution as well. Um, and again, I could just order this online, but I have not. And um, in searching used bookstores, I found this. It's about a physicist who makes a journey to a utopian mother planet in search of answers. So, this should be interesting. Um, I've been wanting to get American Gods by Neil Gaiman, so I did. Um, the only Neil Gaiman that I've read is Coraline. I really liked Coraline. It was kind of, it was cute and creepy. And I've heard nothing but good things about American Gods. So I've been wanting to read this for a while. Um, and I found a, a nice copy of it at a used bookstore and picked it up. So there it is.
Um, I also got Bitch by Elizabeth Wurzel. I have heard of this book, but I hadn't read it. Um, I would read Prozac Nation by Elizabeth Wurzel, like, when I was in high school. Um, and I remember liking it. Um, I didn't care for the movie, but I liked the book. So, um, I figured I would try something else of hers and see how it is. And the last thing I got is not a used book at all, but they had it in the used book store, and I saw it and bought it. So it's David Bowie, The Last Interview, and Other Conversations. I figured this might be interesting to read. I realize it's not a biography, but I realize it's it's something else about David Bowie that kind of on the, on the coattails of the shitty biography I read, maybe this would be interesting. Um, so... Yeah, this should be pretty cool. Those are the books I bought this month as well. So like I said, not a super heavy reading month. I ended up being a lot busier than I had anticipated being. Um, but still a pretty decent reading month. I read some good books. So there is that. Um, so that is going to be it for me today. As usual, there will be some links down below where you can find Sue and I both elsewhere on social media. And we've also started including our... Um, untapped usernames so that you can kind of keep track of the beers that we're drinking and what we think of them if you're interested in doing that maybe get some recommendations if you're into beer um if you're not already subscribed to the restricted section you can do that um and that is it for me so i'll see you next time bye